chapter, we'll be focusing on four out of the eight tests. These are pH, coliform bacteria, turbidity, and nitrates. Hi, but before we get into the actual test, there's some information we need to fill in to this data sheet. So the first thing here is the name of the tester. So my name is Benita Davis. I write that down here. Then the sample site. So since the sample site is located in my yard and it's a black tank, I'll write black tank brackets Benita Davis's yard. Date the 13th of May 2020. Time 1:30 p.m. So description. On the description, I'll write that it's rainwater flowing down a PVC pipe into a black tank, which is covered. And then we can get into the test. Turbidity. Turbidity tells us how clear the water is. It is therefore the cloudiness of the water. Turbid water is caused by human activities that disturb the water, such as construction, mining, clay particles, etc. Turbidity is not the same as the color of the water because darkly colored water can still be clear and not considered turbid. Before I begin this test, I emptied my jar and I have my Secidus sticker with me here. It is best to stick the Secidus sticker 8 to 24 hours before conducting the turbidity test. Step 1. Remove the backing from the Secidus icon sticker. Adhere the sticker on the inside bottom of the large white jar. Position the sticker slightly off center. Fill the jar to the turbidity fill line located on the outside kit label. Hold the turbidity chart on the top edge of the jar. Looking down into the jar, compare the appearance of the sachi disc icon in the jar to the chart. The drinking water is zero JTU. The World Health Organization limit for drinking water is 5 NTU. Therefore, our drinking water that was tested is safe for drinking. Finally, we enter our results in our water monitoring data sheet. We go under turbidity and we will input our result, which was zero J T U pH what is pH pH is a measurement of the acidic or basic quality of water the pH scale ranges from a value of zero very acidic to 14 very basic with seven being neutral why is it important? All living things in and around fresh water have adapted to a specific pH level and may die, stop reproducing, or move away if the pH of the water is too high, that is basic, or too low acidic. Most plants and animals prefer a pH range of 6.5 to 8.0. What can affect pH? The pH of natural water is usually between 6.5 and 8.2. pH can be affected by industrial waste, agricultural runoff, or drainage from improperly run mining operations. We will now be testing our water sample for pH. We will need our test tube and our pH tablets to conduct this test. To begin our test, we will fill this test tube with some of our sample water up to the 10 ml line. 
So here is our fill test tube. We will now add one of our pH tablets to the test tube. I will now invert the test tube until the tablet has dissolved. Now, we will compare our solution to our pH card. As we can see, it is at 7. This is good because it is within the range of 6.5 and 8.5, which is recommended by the World Health Organization. Finally, we go to our data sheet and under pH, we input our value which is seven. Coliform bacteria. Coliform bacteria will not likely cause illness. However, their presence in drinking water tells us that disease-causing organisms or pathogens are present. Therefore, coliform bacteria should not be found in well water or other sources of drinking water. If so, it is a serious problem due to the potential of contracting diseases from pathogens. So we're now going to test for coliform bacteria. We're now going to fill this test tube up to the 10 ml mark using our sample water. The test tube is now filled to the 10 ml mark. And we're now going to cover it back with the cap. So now you can see that the tablet is at the bottom of the test tube. Now we're going to place the test tube in a location where it cannot be contacted with direct sunlight and must be left there for 40 hours. I'm now going to place the test tube in the cabinet for two days in room temperature, away from direct sunlight. And please be advised, do not trouble the test tube until the two days are up because your results will be incorrect. Hi guys, I now have my results here. I'm now going to compare it to the chart to see what it indicates. Well, comparing to the chart, it's definitely yellow, which means that the result is positive for coliform bacteria. To be absolutely sure that our coliform bacteria is positive, you could check in the water manual to see before the information needed. And in my water manual, it says here that if the result is positive, many gas bubbles will be present. So as you can see in this test tube, they have a lot of gas bubbles at the top of the solution. The second thing is that the gel rises to the surface. And we can see that the gel is at the top of the surface. The third thing to look for is that the liquid below the gel is very cloudy. The fourth is that the indicator turned yellow. And this is significantly seen here. Hey guys, so the results indicate that the water took from Bonita's tank has more than 20 coliform colonies present. And thus far is not safe for drinking. Unlike the previous tests, which require us to simply watch the test tube with soap and water and reuse, the coliform bacteria test tube is not reusable and there are specific steps to be followed in order to ensure its proper disposal. In order to dispose of the coliform bacteria test tube, make sure you have two things. The teaspoon and your household bleach. Step 1. Remove the cap from the test tube and pour one third teaspoon of bleach into the test tube. The second step is let the test tube stand upright for 4 hours. Step 3. The four hours have elapsed and I'm now going to get rid of this coliform test tube in the bin. Now I'm going to write my results in the data sheet. Nitrate. 
Nitrate is a nutrient needed by all aquatic plants and animals to make protein. The decomposition of dead plants and animals and the excretions of living animals release nitrate into the aquatic system. Excess nitrate increases plant growth and decays, therefore decrease the amount of oxygen available in the water. Sewage, fertilizer, and agricultural runoff are the main source of excess nitrate in natural waters. Drinking water containing high nitrate levels can affect the ability of our blood to carry oxygen. This is especially true for babies who drink formula made with water containing high levels of nitrate. We are now going to test nitrate. And to test nitrate, you need to have all your materials ready. And with me today, I have the protective sleeve, my test tube, the tablet, and a stop clock. I'm now going to fill my test tube with the sample water up to the measurement 5 ml. As you can see, the test tube has been filled to 5 ml. I'm now going to add my tablet to the sample. and place it into the protective sleeve. For two minutes, and I'm gonna start a stop clock. I will now invert the test tube until the tablets have dissolved. As you can see, the two minutes are up, and now I have to set the stop clock to so five minutes to wait for the results. So my five minutes are up and I'm going to take out my test tube from its protective sleeve and see what results I have. So let us see what we have here. Now compared to the chart here, it can be seen that the result is 5 ppm or less. So in our manual, you could check in the last page which shows the ranking results and you check in the column for nitrate and across you will see results and rank so according to my results I had 5 ppm and for the rank it is at 2 which is fair so now I'm gonna write my results in the data sheet under nitrate I'm gonna write now 5 ppm Hi guys, so it's Benita again and I hope this video was easy to follow and you can now conduct your very own test using the kit in your communities. Bye!